Hey man, Matt Canada is finally fired. This is something Steelers fans have been waiting for since last year. It should have never lasted this long. When not having a single 400 yard game, it shows a lot. He should have never been an offense quitter in the first place. He was the biggest glaring reason this offense was non-existent this year. But there is a lot of glaring reasons why this offense looks bad. And I'm going to tell you the big one. Okay, don't get me wrong. The way Matt Cannon was calling this offense was horrible. We were too conservative with the ball. This offense was designated to play for due to defense side of the ball. The game plan was basically don't make a mistake, let the defense get you turnovers, and we capitalize off those turnovers on offense. This would have been a good game plan if it was like 10 to 20 years ago, but right now the offense is way too advanced to be doing this. And we need an offense like that to go blow for blow with these top teams. So we can't solely depend on our defense to get turnovers every time. That is not really realistic. But thus firing Matt Canada will make us better as an offense. Even if this new coordinator comes in and brings new innovative offense, I think of offense is capped out with Kenny Pickett at quarterback. Kenny has a lot of flaws. Number one, he doesn't see the field as well. I've seen too many times when Kenny is staring a wide receiver down and he misses wide receiver down the field. Two, he gets paranoid too much and scrambles out the pocket. And I bet you if he stayed in the pocket one more second, he would have found someone downfield. Three, his accuracy as a QB is horrible. As an NFL QB, I expect you to hit 90% of your passes. And he's missing too many wide open passes. I can't believe how many passes he misses. These are just the name of a few. He really isn't a QB everybody thought he was going to be coming in as a first round pick from two years ago. He has shown no improvement from year one to year two. And this brings the question, Steelers fans, would you want to move on from Kenny Pickett after this year? Because there's some great names out there for the Steelers to look at. Number one, Colin Murray. Just came over the 20 ACL. His asking price might be a little bit too high for us because it is Kyler Murray. He has a big contract. We don't want to put, take up that big contract, but he is a name to throw in there. Number two, why not target a guy like Jaden Daniels in the draft? If you can get him in the second round, that's a great steal. He's 6'4". He's a dual threat quarterback, kind of like Anthony Richardson. I would love to see him in his offense. It'll make the offense very versatile. And number three, Justin Fields. And I know Justin Fields doesn't have the best reputation. People think he's not that good, but I think he could be redeemed if he has the right coaching. Justin Fields, I think the Bears just misused him. And I think if he gets to the Steelers offense, he can definitely be a great quarterback. But with better QB play and a better offense coordinator, I believe this Steelers offense is a Super Bowl contenders. But other than that, that's it for the video. Have a good day and peace.